It is a beautiful, beautiful morning to terrorize Ryan's whole neighborhood with uh, his very, very loud exhaust. And what I mean is, his stock exhaust is gonna go bye-bye. This whole entire stock system, gone in the garbage. So, uh, we're gonna set everything down here. We're gonna run you through what we have, and uh, there's not gonna be any stock exhaust part on this car anymore, so. Except for those hangers. Except for the hangers, that's, that's true. Ryan was so kind, kind enough to hook it up with some Duncan early in the morning. Ryan, Starbucks gang or Duncan gang? This is this is the most important question in the whole video. Starbucks gang. Starbucks gang. I might have to agree with you there. So, I'm just gonna start talking. Ryan's gonna correct me if I say anything wrong and foolish. We're just gonna start with the JDL unequal length headers, right? Yes, sir. Connected to the JDL front pipe over pipe combo. Dual resonated. Dual resonated. Three inches. Three inches. No cats. No cats. And then your cap back here is a also a JDL. Three inch JDL, resonated, mufflered, exhaust. So we're looking at a full JDL system here, all the way back. Now, I want to note this. I have not seen anybody run this G JDL single tip exit exhaust. I've seen a clip on YouTube of the dual exit, but I have not seen a single clip of the, the single exit. So, if this is your first time hearing it, it was my first time hearing it too. With that being said, we're gonna jack this car up, start taking off the uh, stock exhaust, and um, any exhaust clips you hear in this video is going to be this full exhaust. There's no, there's no uh, mismatched parts on here. Um, we're gonna put it all together in one go, and then we're gonna let you guys hear it, and we're gonna have some fun. So, or die. it's gonna be a good freaking day. So first step, we removed this under tray right from the front here. We got me and Ryan both working underneath here. Um, it's got a bunch of 12 millimeter bolts, and four 10 millimeter. The yeah, so there's the four 10 in the back. There's 12 all around, and then there's uh, push pin clips holding it in. So we popped that out. Side note, the, ooh, look at that. I just put my hand in the, uh, all the grease. But the jack stands, they kind of match the cold khaki gray. Ooh. Okay, so we took six more 10 millimeter bolts out. Um, this was just engine plastic underneath the front pipe. My aerodynamics. Yes. So you probably can't tell, but I uh, am indeed underneath the car here. Uh, I'm at the front here. Oh, we got headers here. Um, we soaked these header bolts. We got one two, three, and then we got the overpipe bolts right here as well. Um, and yeah, we're gonna let that soak a second and then we're gonna hopefully break them loose. So, back here at the front of the car, I'm not sure if these things were just like, if the WD-40 really put in work here or what, but these bolts were so easy to break loose on the headers, I'm like, I'm pretty amazed here. I'm gonna show you how effortlessly Ryan can break these things loose. Because when with my 370Z, we had to use two of us and we could be like, what the heck? This man just said these bolts are nothing. Let's do it again, Ryan, do it again. Come on, come on. There you go, that's it. Nothing. Easy money. Come on, come on. Third, third time's a charm, third time's a charm. If I could see help a lot. Thank you. Oh man. Easy money. So easy money. We sprayed all the other bolts too. I thought the headers might be the hardest part. So if we're able to get these out, then I feel like everything else should be a breeze. So we're starting with the headers. Probably gonna work our way back. Um, I think the overpipe is gonna be one of our hardest issues here. So we'll see how that goes and I'll update you in a second. <sighs> okay, so muffler's off. It's just connected to this flange, two 14 millimeter bolts. The annoying thing was there's two hangers on each side, so you have four in total. I know we got the hanger tool caught in there a little bit, but nothing old WD-40 couldn't fix, right? This video is sponsored by WD-40. WD-40, shout out WD-40. So mid pipe is out. This is held in by one hanger. I was the hanger man. And then these very, very weird bolts that uh, Ryan's gonna show you. They're very, very long. 
Um, and it looks like they're compressed with a spring too, so maybe it's... It's, it's kind of nifty though, because it like allows you to take the bolts off without having a wrench on the other side. So it's pretty smart uh, design, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Subaru um, had they they kind of had an inclination that uh, people would be taking the exhaust off, maybe because uh, they don't like their maybe maybe they're like not a fan of like salsa or guacamole. Maybe they like torque dip with their chips. I don't know. So we we opened we got a little fan going, but we open up the hood to let this O2 sensor cool a little bit before we take it off the headers because we got the headers pretty much off. I'll show you. We got a, uh, like I said, we got that mid pipe off, the muffler off. We're here at this uh, front pipe, and we, we broke this little bolt loose here at this weird little hanger thing. We got, um, this over pipe is very tiny. It literally connects the headers here and the uh, front pipe here. I think they call it an over pipe because it has a slight bend in it and it goes over the, sub over the subframe here. Um, so that's like kind of what I'm worried about here. But um, I think we can get the front pipe off pretty easily. Um, we haven't really had any issues so far. So everything's been 14 millimeter bolts so far. Okay, so uh, everything under here was very hot uh, when we undid the headers. So we unclipped the O2 sensor from, uh, from right here and right here. There's one down there, it's the obvious one. There's another one down there which is not so obvious. So we're gonna take the headers off real quick. We undid everything earlier and uh, the bolt over here that connects the overpipe to the headers was like really tight for no reason and it actually broke. It came loose and then it got tight again. And yeah. I promise you I was turning it the right way. So we got one off and the one broke, but it's okay we have all new hardware. We, uh, we temporarily paused on the front pipe but I'm going to set you guys up real quick. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see what we can do here. I have the jack falling up the headers. You ready, Ryan? Yes, sir. I mean, they're not really holding up the headers right now. Okay. I'm gonna do this all the way then. This jack is so light. We gotta remember which uh, which one goes where. Right now. Yeah, we can uh, this one's our heaviest fog. I'm swimming out, Joey. Oh, oh, dude, he's got me pinned. Oh, one. Refer referee, Ryan, referee. Woo. Oh, two, three. Oh, oh. Ding, ding, ding. And the, the winner goes to the headers. The stock BRZ headers. That was ridiculous. Why did we pull that? Oh, okay. So I have the overpipe and the headers. Um, everyone complains that the overpipe is so hard to get out. Um, and the overpipe that connects to the front pipe, um, those bolts seem like they're pains, so we're gonna try to knock out both of them at once. Um, <laughs> Ron's gonna twist and twist and see if we can get out, but um, yeah, that's where we're at now. So let me tell you, this front pipe, very frustrating. This bolt here, we had to use two wrenches and uh, get a bunch of leverage on it and push it. This bolt, we had to put a, a wrench on there and then we used the jack handle over there and we were able to break it loose. And then we couldn't get it off so we had to use a pry bar in between, so. But it's off. Ryan, we hear Ryan over here beating the crap out of this overpipe. Just throwing gaskets. Who knows what's going on. So the whole exhaust is off. It's just a matter of getting this overpipe off. So we're gonna wiggle it around, try to get it off. Um, if not, we're gonna have to undo a motor mount and unfortunately jack up the engine. So I'll stay tuned and uh, let you know what we do. So back under the car, this is where the headers were. We tried. We're, we're still trying to get this overpipe out. Um, we, we wiggled it and wiggled it. I don't even know if this is a focus right now. We wiggled it and wiggled it and we just can't get the overpipe out. So what I think we're about to do is we're about to take this 14 millimeter bolt off of the motor mount and uh, we have uh, the oil pan here. We have a jack and a piece of wood and we're gonna crush Ryan's oil pan. Not really, well, that, that's part of the wood so we can jack it up kind of evenly. 
and uh, it should give us like an inch of clearance and we can pull this thing right out. So um, that's what we're thinking right now. Um, I'll let you know if it works. So like I said, we undid the motor mount here. Can you shine the light down here so we can see it? Um, we have this piece of wood here and it, it looks like it was good. We were able to get the engine up just an inch or so and uh, Ryan was able to squeeze this pipe right out. So let's get the, uh, let's just set the new pipe in there and then we can take the jack underneath. Boop. Such a, such a smaller thing. Dude, this car is gonna sound so freaking good. Honestly, I don't even know if we need to do this, but. Yeah, I, like I said, it's pro it probably can fit right through. But Honestly, the what I think we should do is I think we should bolt it to the headers and then. We could do that. So do you wanna drop this down? No, don't drop it yet. We're gonna bolt the headers in first and then we'll drop it. Okay, you heard you heard the man. Let's go do it. So this O2 sensor by the gasket, we put closer to the gasket because that's where it goes. And then the one that was here is on this because uh, it's a little closer than the other one. But we're lucky enough to have an O2 sensor socket here. But if you if you really have to, I guess you could use um, vice, grips. vice grips, adjustable wrench, whatever. Yeah, you got a lot. You got a few options, but but proper way to do it is use a O2 sensor. And I'll save your life. They're you, American! Oh, They're nice. American! So, uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, for some odd reason, I don't know why it's like this, uh, but to get this uh, overpipe tightened, Ryan used a, uh, wasn't an 18 millimeter and a 5 8 wrench. I don't know if, like, that was technically the correct way, but that's what got it tight for us. Because uh, he said it was spinning when he was using a 17. Um, so an 18 on one side and a 5 8 on the other. Also, uh, I don't, we didn't mention this, but Ryan did opt to get his uh, headers heat heat coated. And he chose the black, obviously. Well, that's why his headers are black. But um, we got the headers in. Um, we did the headers first. Put the overpipe in. As you can see, it's sticking out over there. Um, we tightened the motor mount back up. So all this is good and tight, and now we can start using the V-bands and getting the rest of the exhaust on. So hopefully it's a breeze from here. Also, uh, good to mention that uh, Ryan is clipping these in, and uh, it looks like the O2 sensors both can reach, because I've seen people say that they had a hard time reaching the O2 sensors. Maybe they had them on backwards, but we have no issue here. They both clipped in just fine. So uh, a couple of cuss words later, and uh, <laughs> in like several minutes. Um, I was able to hold the exhaust here up against the uh, frame or the body. And uh, Ryan was able to get that V-band where it needed to be. He started it. Um, we got it where it needed to be. We got this bolt in. It pulled the, what is this? Kind of like a hanger thing. It pulled it to where it needed to be. And now he's just tightening the rest of the V-band. We'll double check this bolt. And then we can start doing the cap back and the front pipe is looking good. It's definitely a good idea to do this with two people so you can have someone hold the exhaust. Ignore you good? That. Ryan over here throwing things around. I'm angry. He's upset. This BRZ is gonna be loud as heck. That didn't even rhyme. So here's the JDL uh, cap back. We just un uh, unwrapped everything. And look how freaking sick this thing is. Ryan, hold it up. Let's get let's get a thumbnail. Let's get a thumbnail. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it. So we're kind of at a race against time right now. It's 12:10. Ryan has a dentist appointment at one o'clock. So uh, we got the the mid pipe on, connected to the other piece of the mid pipe. That B band's there. I wouldn't tighten that all the way yet. Um, and now all we have to do is get this massive poop in. Oh, brother. Look how good this freaking looks. Ryan hasn't seen it yet, so we're gonna, he's gonna tighten it up and then I'll get his reaction. Okay, here's the big reveal. We slid it, I slid it around on the hanger and now it's, now it's nice and even. Ryan, what do you think? Dude, hell yeah. Dude, it looks so good, bro. 
We managed, we managed to get this done in about three hours and 15 minutes. I don't know. I guess that's, that's decent for us because usually it takes us forever. Uh, with, my, with mine on my 370Z, 370Z. Oh, man, I'm out of breath, honestly, I'm a little sick. I'll talk about why my wheels are mismatched in another video. Uh, when I did that, the catalytic converters probably took three, three and a half hours on, it, on their own, so. But Ryan also has a block off plate he's gonna put here, so it doesn't look like he's uh, he's really mis mismatching. But it looks good either way. Yeah, we're gonna clean up later. Um, for now, uh, we're gonna probably go to this dentist appointment, get lunch, hear this thing. Um, Cause we still have to put the under shields back on and everything. I'll get back to you when we start it up. It is the freaking moment of truth right now. Dude, I'm so pumped. I know Ryan's more pumped. We're gonna start up in the air uh, without the heat shielding on. Check for leaks. Yeah, check for exhaust leaks. But, dude, I'm excited so, to hear this. Dude. That's like perfect. Your cold start's gonna be even louder, but that's a good Subi rumble. That sounds good. Dude, this thing is gonna scream. Holy crap. I think it's like, it's definitely not too loud to idle. We're checking for leaks right now. What's this guy doing there? What's he doing? Dude, what's all? Dude, this exhaust, I gotta say, J Props to JDL. This exhaust, like it fits good. The fitment's like good. No, no exhaust leaks. Honestly, better than my Tomei. So it will be fair. It is a complete JDL exhaust system, so it all should kind of fit together well. Like it's kind of a given, but good stuff. So um, we're gonna rip it around some onto his uh, dentist appointment here. Um, if you guys have any questions, there's gonna be plenty of plenty of exhaust exhaust clips in this video. But if you guys have any questions on like the install or anything, because um, I might not have covered it perfectly, but just leave a comment. We'll we'll try to get back to you guys um, if we have the knowledge. But uh, everything was pretty straightforward. Pretty proud of ourselves here. Um, knocked it out quicker than we thought, and uh, we have all day to do whatever. So let's let's hit the road. Trying to be quiet. So this is Ryan trying to be quiet uh, in his neighborhood. It's um, it sounds really good. I'm 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 impressed so far. He hasn't really gone over 2,500 RPMs yet. So once we get out, we'll we'll give her all the beans. Okay, like, like he was trying to avoid looking at us for a minute. And he yeah. was like, ah, hey. Maybe he thought he was gonna be filmed. People's cameras are kind of sketchy, honestly. They're in menace to society. All these junk cars right here. Yeah. Freaking junk 370Z. That's for sure. You don't have to rip it. I'm just uh. Okay, okay, almost four grand. Five grand. Yes, sir. Dude, it sounds so good. Dude, I, di I didn't know what to expect, but that's good. Dude, it sounds so much better than like any video. What do you think? So good. Yo. We hit 70. Yes, sir. Let's go. We hit 70. So we got back from Ryan's dentist appointment. All good. Uh, pro tip here. Um, if you're doing your exhaust and you took off your uh, splash shield, your aluminum under shroud, all that, put put that back on before you drive because uh, it may or may not drag your uh, plastics onto the road. That may or may not have happened to us. Aside the point, we uh, we got the shield back on, we jacked it up, we checked the bolts and everything because we, we maybe drove like 30, 35-ish miles or so. So we, we just double checked that everything was tight. And now Ryan is Flashing his car. Stage two plus, boy, that means no cats. You wanna explain what that is for people who may not know? So, this car suffers from an insane torque dip. Probably, I think it starts about like, somewhere around three to four grand, somewhere around there. That You can literally see on a dyno graph that the torque goes down. Now, most people's solution to this is getting unequal length headers and flashing their car with a tune that removes the torque dip. 
and it makes the car a lot funner on lower, you know, lower or RPMs and everything, and gives you that nice subi rumble. So, so what what is this uh, what is this doohickey you're using here? So this is the OFT V2. Now, this is the cheap way to get it done. If you're really looking to get your car tuned the proper way, EQ Tech or ECU Tech is the proper way to go. But if you're just trying to get it done and just drive your car, this will work. This will get rid of your check engine light. It'll tune the car and get rid of the torque dip and everything and give you just a little bit more power. I couldn't have said it better myself. So anyways, uh, we're gonna let Ryan go that. We're gonna go dark mode. Uh, I don't know, my camera's been doing some weird stuff today. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna have a lot more exhaust clips uh, in just a, just a few couple seconds for you guys. But uh, I just wanna let you know where we're at in the day. So listen to this car. It's such a beautiful night, honestly, here in Florida. And like, I can't get over how good Ryan's exhaust sounds. Oh, the downshifts. Oh, some solid ones for us. Oh, butter. Bro, you can't tell me this doesn't sound good. You cannot tell me. Okay, so I think Ryan's gonna do his first official pull here with the tune. Hey, that's pretty good. So as me and Ryan are pulling away, um, I can't see the sign, but we just we just ate at a uh, Burger Twenty One. I still don't think you saw the sign. If you want, uh, yeah, there you go. I don't know if it's in focus, but uh, it's like throwing back to the OG days here. We're gonna get some flybys now. Nothing like a little underpass run. Yo! Yo! Ryan just dropped me off in the middle of nowhere. The middle of nowhere. Uh, so, we, uh, we're gonna film some flybys here. This is the same place I filmed my flybys when uh, I got my my uh, the test pipes for my 370Z. So I have earplugs in, and uh, hopefully this thing's gonna freaking rip. That sounds so good. He's gonna come back around, but that's crazy. Honestly, best, BR, best sounding BRZ ever, I've ever heard. I'm gonna tell him to get one more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get Ryan. I, I took the earplugs out here, so that thing is crazy loud actually. So I'm gonna have Ryan keep ripping it afterwards so we get the full rippage in here. So we're about to give you guys some standing revs. We're gonna do 3K, 5K, and 7K. Okay, let's hear it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm in the blast zone here. Beautiful. <laughs> was that was that 7K though? No, that was like five and a half. Oh well, do you want your 7K? I don't know if I can. I see. That's okay.
so all of our exhaustion engines are over. Um, we're, all, we're all done for the night. Um, Ryan, what do you think of your exhaust? Final thoughts. You hate it, right? I hate it. It's the worst thing ever. Yeah, don't, 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 ever, don't ever put an exhaust in your car. It's too loud. If you, if you enjoy hearing things at, at any time, just don't do it. No, but in all seriousness, um, I think Ryan's car sounds dope. I think Ryan thinks his car sounds dope. Really happy with the exhaust. It was very straightforward to install. Hopefully this video can help anybody in any any way, shape, the, or form. Uh, the JDL exhaust fits amazing. It sounds great. Yeah, the fitment is definitely on point. The quality is really, really great. The welds are amazing. Um, I just don't really have anything else to say about it. It sounds amazing. Um, I was a little unsure of how it was all going to sound together, like the cat back and everything. But I'm very happy with how it sounds. I was so afraid it was going to be raspy. Nah. So, with that being said, um, this video is over. And leave a comment if you have any thoughts or concerns about this exhaust or the install process. So, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. In front of the gun. And I've been hustling all day This a way, that a way Don't pronounce in alleyways Just to say, Monty Trees is the perfect place for shade <laughs>